Hello everybody, it's Dan Gasway with the Pitching Academy. I just want to go ahead and get started today with one mechanical flaw. This is actually misunderstood and taught by thousands of coaches the wrong way. What we do when we, th when we see Randy Johnson, Mark Price, when we see all of these pitchers, Clayton Kershaw, Justin Verlander, when we see them throw in regular motion and we don't slow things down, sometimes we see things differently than they really are. I'm going to throw down a video, Randy Johnson um, throwing a baseball. I think L.A. Flippin did this on YouTube. But um, he's going to demonstrate to you how to throw the baseball. We're going to slow it down in slow motion so that you can see what happens with this front glove arm. Many coaches teach to throw that front glove arm down. Again, you guys, and I said this a thousand times, you want to make sure that all of your momentum is going straight towards home plate. Anytime you go away from home plate at, at your delivery, you're putting a little bit more pressure on your throwing arm and it, you're going to be hard pressed to throw some strikes, being consistent with those strikes. You, you can throw strikes, but not as consistently as you, as you can just coming straight towards home plate. But to understand this fully, when I come to, to the set position, the ball and glove has to be where my spine line is. It has to be set right here, here, out here. It doesn't matter where it is as long as it's where my spine line is. And when I lift my leg up, I don't want to bring my glove arm up over there or bring it here because I'm off balance. Well, at release of the baseball, where is my glove supposed to be? What am I supposed to do with this elbow? Again, a lot of coaches teach to pull that. Well, if you're pulling it really hard, aren't you going against where you want to go in the first place, which is straight forward? That's a question I have for you today. But second of all, when I come through, so here's how you do that. When I come through and start to rotate my hips forward, I drop the elbow. Okay, I drop my elbow. I don't bring it into, I don't bring the glove to me. I go to the glove. Okay. What's stronger, your legs and your hips or this front glove arm? Well, obviously, it's, it's your legs, okay, and then your hips. So what, I, what you should do is just drop that elbow, okay, and keep that front glove where your spine line is at release of the baseball. So right here, at release of the baseball, your glove should be where your spine line is, and it doesn't matter if it's down here, here, or here as long as at release you're out in front here. Now what we see in regular motion, and I'm going to show you in this Randy Johnson video below, what you'll see him do is right after he releases the baseball, he's going to pull that glove this way. But just understand it's after he releases the baseball. What do we see in regular motion? We see Randy Johnson, it looks like he's doing this. But in all reality, if you pause it, okay, Actually, it's slow enough so that you'll see he'll just drop his elbow and the body keeps on going to his glove. I think you're going to be amazed. So that, if you have a coach that teaches you to pull that elbow this way or bring it down this way really hard, show him this video. Say, all of my momentum is supposed to go straight forward. That's what the squeeze and swivel does. So again, you're just lifting your arms up to foot strike, dropping that elbow down and coming towards that front glove. If you have any questions, don't hesitate emailing me, pitchingacademy at gmail.com. I'd love to help you out. Talk to you soon.